Hello everyone and welcome. We're going to uh, talk about some a chart and some aspects for the coming days. But before we do that, I would just like to uh, go over some chart basics. And uh, just for the people that might not be familiar, so the parts from astrology chart. As you can see here, we have symbols that represent planets. This is Pluto, Saturn, the Sun, Mercury. Different symbols represent different planets. We have the ascendant or the starting point of the chart right here. Then we have the symbol for the sign on the outside of the chart. So this is Aries, this is Taurus, this is Gemini. Now in the middle here we have aspect lines which is relationships between planets. So in this case we have uh, Mars which is a planet aspecting Chiron, which is an asteroid, and it's 120 degrees away from each other, and that's a trine aspect. Here we have this aspect in red, which is 90 degrees away, which is a square aspect. And then we have houses, and the numbers for the houses are right here. They start at number one, the starting point, the ascendant of the chart, and they go first house, second house, third house, fourth house, and these houses relate to different areas of your life. So the second house is your finances, the third house is your brothers and sisters, the fourth house is your home life and your home environment, the seventh house is your marriage partner, the tenth house is your career. So there is a little understanding of how a chart is put together. And like I pointed out, when you look at a chart, there is a starting point. So for instance, we would have we could have Aries on the first house as a starting point, or we could keep moving around the charts and we could actually have Taurus on the ascendant, or we could move through all the signs. We could have Leo, we could have Capricorn, we could have every different sign. So it's actually important for you to know where your chart starts and what your ascendant or rising sign is. Next, we're going to uh, just talk about the, the list of aspects. This is actually what you're here to find out. You're here to find out what aspects the planets are making in your chart or a chart that will tell you uh, what their relationships are on a certain date. So from the first uh, column here, we can see that the date is listed. So we would be talking about a certain date. Then we would have the first planet or a planet that is actually having a relationship with a different planet. We have the sign and so we have a planet and the sign that the planet is in. Then we have the um, aspect. And the aspect is, like I said, the degree relationship difference between the two planets. So for instance, there's a conjunction, zero degrees. There's a square. A square is 90 degrees. Uh, on Right here, we're going to show the... Uh, planet that the first planet relates to, the second planet here. Then we have the sign that next planet is in. And lastly, we have the time of day that this relationship takes place. So there you have it. You have a basic understanding of a chart and what we're going to talk about.